Copenhagen Energy AS, CE, and Petrogreen will build a 360 billion pesos wind farm in Ilocos. According to the Chief of the Department of Trade and Industry, DTI, the 360 billion offshore wind project in Ilocos Norte of Danish renewable energy producer Copenhagen Energy AS, CE, is moving forward with community involvement, financial impact assessment, and national strategy activities. Bola Wind Energy, a Copenhagen Energy AS, C, Petrogreen Energy Corporation joint venture, is developing offshore wind power with wind turbine generators ranging in size from 15 to 20 megawatts in the waters around Burgos, Bangui, and Pagadpud town. It is anticipated that commercial operations would begin in 2028. In a meeting with Copenhagen Energy CEO Jasmine Bejtik, Trade Secretary and Board of Investments BOI, Chairman Alfredo Pasqual stated that the company has already obtained a service contract. The company is also usually on schedule and making progress with its community participation, financial impact evaluation, and national plan, according to the Board of Investments BOI. Bejtik, for one, expressed excitement about the project's realization, underlining that the Philippines remained a very potential economic location for floating wind towers. With sufficient government backing, we will be able to implement the project on time, emphasizing that the Ilocos region is without a doubt one of the best resources for wind generation. The follow-up meeting between the Danish renewable energy firm and the DTI was one of the tangible outcomes of the promotional activities carried out during the President's visit to Brussels in December 2022, during which the Board of Investments BOI, and Copenhagen Energy discussed the latter's plans to invest in the Philippines. Pasquale stated that the Board of Investments BOI, is collaborating closely with relevant government agencies such as the and the Department of Energy DOE, to expedite the company's commercial activities. The Board of Investments BOI, also stated that the Office of the President OP, is working on issuing an executive order that will allow for the creation of green lanes for critical investment projects. The Office of the President OP, is also working on issuing an executive order that will allow for the creation of a green lane, specifically for strategic investment projects like this one. I am looking forward to the implementation of this project, especially because Copenhagen Energy CE, has already acquired a service contract. Last week, they also presented a system impact analysis which contained the electrical design and recommendations for how to get power to the grid, Pasquale said. According to the Trade Secretary, the Board of Investments BOI, is also working closely with other government agencies to speed the study's evaluation. Meanwhile, the Board of Investments BOI, stated that it is collaborating closely with the local government unit LGU of Ilocos Norte on investment promotion, facilitation, and investor servicing efforts to ensure that investors have a seamless experience doing business in the Philippines. The agency has inked a memorandum of understanding with the provincial government of Ilocos Norte to align and collaborate on investment promotion, facilitation, and investor servicing initiatives. According to the Board of Investments BOI, the agreement will also help Copenhagen Energy's initiative. Furthermore, Pasquale stated that the Board of Investments BOI, is working with the World Bank WB, on the implementation of its recommendations resulting from their offshore wind study last year. The World Bank WB, classified the Philippines as the eighth finest offshore wind site in the world. Pasquale previously stated that renewable energy projects would be a key driver of investment this year, especially with the elimination of the foreign equity prohibition. As of January, the Board of Investments BOI, was assessing eight renewable energy projects worth 446 billion Philippine pesos. The figure does not include the Boho Wind project, which is nearing completion, as well as the 225 billion pump storage and solar energy project.